and welcome to the wonderful world of Mind's Eye. My name is Brendan and welcome to episode 189 of Unboxed. And today I'd like to get down on one knee, but I won't because it takes me out of shot, but I would like to propose that we come together to open up this Romantic Ring Box Series 3. It's a nice variety pack of pop mark characters ready to present rings to that special someone. Before we begin, did you guys like? Did you subscribe? Make sure you tune in for all kinds of great content from unboxings to artist interviews. So I can't wait to unbox them. So without any further ado, let's get unboxed. All right, no time to waste. Here's the box. And here are many, many options. Each of them having a different Pop Mart character featured. So Molly has Galactic Heart. Skull Panda gets close to you. Demu gets another rose. Laboo is mysterious trajectory. Pucky gets the blazing heart. Sweet Bean says, You are my love. Pino Jelly gets sugary love. Kubo gets, When I miss you. Hachi Poo gets our love song. Chaka gets distance between us and blank in blank, because that's our secret. Without any further ado, let's see what's in box number one. <laughs> We have a ring included in each and every single one. This looks more like a ring pop. These ring boxes are massive. They're huge. I mean, look at them the size of my hands. And whoever's inside, you gotta take out the tape first. Then you can do the grand reveal by turning the disc to open up and Skull Panda! What you do is you take the included ring, put that into the slot right here, and oop, there we go. Let's do that once more time. Will you be my Skull Panda? No, I love turning this. Oh, I'm already getting addicted. The purple's so good. Box number two. Here's the ring. Who do you think this belongs to? If you guess Laboo, you'd be correct. This one looks absolutely mystical. We have the sun, the moon, the ring is a star. The theming is absolutely immaculate. Here's a closer look at Le Boo Boo for you. Oh, wow. You can see constellations in the back here. So dynamic. Box number three for me. Three. We got a rose ring. Can you recall which character is gonna be rose themed? If you guessed Demu, you'd be correct. Wow, 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 wow. The fact that the ring is vines with rose sprouting out here. We have this cloudy slot where the ring goes. Absolutely adorable. You see the Debu flying with his little foxy friend over here, both flying towards the ring. There's a little star. So many great color schemes going on. Great Beauty and the Beast vibes. Lifts my curse real well. Next box, order up. Place your bet. We have a little star bit from Mario Galaxy. Open up, it's Chaka. This one's going all in on the theme of space and time. We have stars, but then you can see the numerical Roman numerals going all around the ring here in this nice glittery gold in contrast with the blue and especially the white. This looks great. It's all about color contrast, my friends. It's all about colors. This what really brings the thing together. Right? Purple? Pastel? Take your pick. And if you chose Molly, you'd be absolutely correct. This one is adorable. While a lot of them are very sort of elegant, very beautifully themed. This one's just all about being nice and cutesy. So we got little animals. We got Molly herself looking through the telescope in this nice, cute pink ring, as well as all the stars flying along the rings gives a very different kind of vibe. Great cartoony clouds here, but it's a great vibe nonetheless for those who want something just a little bit more adorable, a little bit more bright and colorful. Molly's got your back. Mm -hmm. 
this ring is a gorgeous bright white, but it's not normal plastic. But you see, as I turn it, there's that pearlescent quality that gives a little bit of prestige, almost makes it look like it's made out of metal or marble. It's beautiful. Any Hachi Poo Poo fans in the house? Because you won the symphony, and what a symphony it is. You can see the piano with its nice and glossy plastic with stars holding up the lid with a little Hachi Poo Poo playing the piano there. Every single key individually sculpted and painted all on top of a gear with all these music notes surrounding waiting for the final note. Beautifully themed. I love a good classical music reference. Any Ted Turner fans here? We got some real Captain Planet vibes coming from this ring. Who do you think owns this? Now you can eat sunlight, taste the sun with Pucky. Wow, this one is flaming hot, flaming hot Cheetos. They got fire and fire and fire. And this is, I guess, a conduit for some, you guessed it, ice. Now fire. This is interesting. This one's got a little bunny holding a star. If I don't know any better, and I don't know any better, I would have think this would be a Laboo but we just got Laboo so who could it be? And, oh, well, the bass kind of spoiled it, but uh, shh, let's pretend it didn't happen. And the totally unforeseen winner, we didn't see this at all, don't say it, is Kubo. And two strings. So similar to Chaka, the Kubo ring, it's also very time-based. This one focuses more on kind of like an analog clock. Kubo's turning the clock, turning the dials of the hand, and then we still have Roman numerals coming all along the ring. But it's a lot more playful, less enchanted, less regal, but gives along the impression that time's a ticking, folks. So make use of the time while you got it. Second last box, we're in the end game now, fellas. Would you like a jelly, baby? Who do you think this ring belongs to, huh? Nice and jelly and clean. I think it's pretty obvious. Anyone craving dessert? Mm -mm -mm. It's Pino. Living up to his name of Pino Jelly, this guy looks absolutely scrumptious from the cookie donut based rings. We got ice cream planets, and of course, the jelly man himself with his. Ooh, ooh, get out of the finger. Ooh, don't propose to me. Gummy bear ring. It's the end, my lovely friend, for it is the last ring box we spend. Look at that triple temporal, another timed themed box, I'm assuming, because it's got a clock themed ring, which is really, really nice. Love the spinning textures around here. Who do you think this is for? Well, the process of elimination, you might know. And our last our galactic journey ends with only the sweetest of folks, the sweet bean. Look at him in his nice little button nose and his very, ooh, very Salvador Dali, literally. Melting clocks. We'll have one clock to join your party. But this is very nice, soothing silver colors, the metallic paint, and just even that unevenness with the ring itself going up and down and up, almost like a little roller coaster. This one really gives a sense of texture and depth. And that's a wrap on this little proposal parade. Which of this series was your favorite? You like your ring box more elegant like Hachi Poo Poo or more cutesy like Timu? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps us out, truly. And until next time, keep your mind's eye wide open.